looks like that. Now the T matrix is the total transmissibility. We can write that as the sum of the water and the oil transmissibilities. And if we do that, then they look very similar to what you're used to. So we have like T. So this is including the heterogeneous case. So T W half plus T W. so on, and likewise for the oil, you know, the same, same type of thing. Yeah, 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 so this is the one, one entry, that's the, so it, it's just, it's exactly the same as what we had before, but we just now have little subscripts, right? Now the entries themselves, are only different by the relative permeabilities, right? So just to write one of them out. And of course, for the oil, then you'd have the relative permeability with respect to the oil. Right? So the only difference in the actual terms, so we still treat the permeability the same and use a harmonic average across the grid blocks for inner block permeability. We still average the grid spacing for varying delta x. And the relative permeabilities, we're going to do something called upwinding that I'll talk about in just a second. You know, I was actually wondering that myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, so I'm just following the notes, right, that Dr. <laughs> Bauhoff, and uh, it doesn't really make sense to me either, but it's, just call it D, right? It doesn't, yeah, it, it is what it is. The CTW kind of, you know, transmissibility of water, the, or the, the total, the CT, right, so the total compressibility of water, and that's the i i entry, but yeah, I don't know what the one to, <laughs> I don't know what it, where he came up with that. But I, I just wanted to be consistent when you go and look at the notes, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have done that. So 